Hey everyone, how's it going? Hearst Quasar here, and yeah, we're doing uh, some movie cars here. And today we are going to be doing um, actually Skink and Gutter Boys Barracuda, but right now we are cleaning up Rughead's truck, getting the finishing touches on this. Oh yeah, we're doing the Wraith, so. Uh, and I, I did say when we first started this out that I was going to put this truck. Uh, I was going to do this truck in between episodes, and I have actually. Um, turned out pretty good. It's 100% all great across the board. Good deal, good deal. Um, that looks pretty good. This is a. Uh, what is it? The Gavel? What do you, what do you call this? Uh, Gavril D series. And I say a GMC because this is actually an edit of my own. So um, I did have one from uh, Ryan Peterson, however, uh, I accidentally sold it. So I had this one. I figured I'd just grab this one and just go ahead and do it with this one. Um, sorry, Ryan. <laughs> it's, it's one of those. It was one of those days, and um, yeah, I just was not into it at all. There we go. So, speaking of Ryan Peterson, he also did the livery on this thing. Isn't this thing, this is a beauty, right? It's nice. We've got a GMC on the back of it. Um, uh, I will say, though, and he had did he did fair warn me that uh, along the bottom here, it just kind of gets messed up. Only because, well, it's just the way it is, man. I mean, uh, it's not UV mapped, and, you know, he does his best to try to make these things as, as great as possible. And uh, he does a pretty good job of them, so. All right. Um... Yeah, we'll throw over in a dyno. We might as well do this. Um, go ahead and do this real quick. Why not, right? Of course. Yes, let's run this puppy. We'll do this real quick, and then we'll get working on the CUDA. So this uh, Gavril series pickup truck. This is uh, made by Sandwiches and Milk. What a great name for a modder. Sandwiches and Milk. Um, he doesn't do much anymore because I haven't seen him around. Ooh, look at this. Seven... 1,731 horsepower with uh, 21,050 pounds of torque. Holy cow, I should say, 2,150 pounds of torque, 21,000. What am I, who am I kidding? All right, so there we have uh, Rughead's pickup. So, finish that up. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. So that's part of the movie series is actually, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't do this one as a movie series. <clears throat> Um, I don't know. I just mixing it up a little bit. So, all right. So we're gonna do the Cuda here. This is an um, let's see here. What is this a 1968 Barracuda uh, street rod? So I think I have uh, messed with this one a little bit. This is from Nick's Speed Shop. So all both these mods, I will throw them in, down in the um, right up down below, so you know where to get these bad boys. Now, if you're looking to get these deliveries. And I highly encourage you to visit us over on the Facebook page. That's where they all are. Ryan Peterson has got a setup over there, and uh, <clears throat> freely, freely gives them out. Um, once I get the okay from him, I may post them here as well, so you can get them here. Uh, but we would kind of encourage you to come over to the Facebook page if you like Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 and you like building cars and displaying some of your creations, by all means, join us over there. I'll put that link down below as well. You know what? I just totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> Holy crap, what was I... I... I don't even know. I am getting old, people. I am getting old. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can remember what I was pinpointing on. Okay, Cuda made by Nick Speed Shop. Uh, I'll put both this and the truck, um, both of these links down and right up down below. So um, I was I was talking about the Facebook page to invite you guys. Yes, please by all means uh, consider joining us over on the Facebook page. Um, but when you do, I'll put the link down below, but when you do, make sure you answer the questions because uh, if you don't answer the questions, then we don't know if you're very, you're a human or not, so you will not get in if you don't answer the questions. All right, so we got Skank and Gutter Boys Cuda here. Now, this is one of the craziest cars 
I have seen, um, livery wise or paint job wise, uh, Skank and Gutter Boy are just two uh, strange characters in this movie. Um, and if you hadn't seen the movie, it's basically, you know, boy loses, uh, boy gets killed, comes back from the dead and avenges his death, and then takes the girl. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably the gist of the whole movie right there. But, not too bad for it being an older movie and Charlie Sheen being a very young puppy in it. Um, yeah, not too bad. Now, um, the demise, now, like, like, um, oh, jeez, who, who did this? I, I just had the name on the top of my tongue. Anyway, this car here didn't get, you know, killed by the, the interceptor. He just dodged the interceptor and ran into the, an embankment, um, twice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I've watched the movie a couple times and saw it and went, um, man, that was, that was pretty bad as far as editing of that piece. But, um. And they tried. What can I say? They tried. All right, we're gonna get this thing all lined back up, and Skank and Gutter Boy will have a ride once again. Um, what I was saying is, you know, like for this car ended up into the side of a you know a hill or um, they were racing on a mountain t a mountain mountainous area anyway, and um, he uh, avoided the um, Dodge Interceptor, the Wraith, and then crashed into the mountainside or into a hillside and flipped it over. Um, Skank and Gutter Boy, on the other hand, um, not so much. Um, they were chasing uh, Jake down, and uh, you know, by by all accounts, you know, they were keeping eyes on th this guy's girl, right? And um, he is out motorbiking around. Charlie Sheen, I think his name was Jamie or Jake. I think his name is Jamie. Um, with his girl, Will Skank and Gutter Boy happened to see him, so they started chasing him down. And, uh, you know, most of the car crashes, the Wraith and the Interceptor had something to do with it. This time around, um, you know, Skank and Gutter Boy are chasing this guy around, and um, Gutter Boy actually shoots a hole in the floorboard of the, the CUDA takes out the brakes and they end up flipping the CUDA it's crazy absolutely crazy let's see here we've got the drums I think it's leaf plate I'm actually drawing a blank tonight boys and girls I am um, really not doing too good right now it is uh, I had a long day uh, just work itself so uh, small rubber bushing, yeah. So it's nice to sit down and to do some of this and and hopefully get you guys uh, slightly involved. I don't have any questions for you today. You know, I was thinking of you know what can I um, what can I pose to everyone? I uh, can't think of anything right off the top of my head. But during this during this uh, video, maybe if I can find something or I can come up with something, I certainly will ask. So like the last one, I was like, uh, I think it was during the uh, it was probably during the Rot to Rad series that I do. Um, was asking about, you know, vacations. Where do you, where do you like to go to vacation at? Um, got several responses. So, you know, um, Hawaii, Florida. Um, there was a couple others. I don't remember right now. I, I do have to apologize. I was late trying to get all the... Oh no, that's not the one I wanted. Take that back out. Come on, there we go. Uh, 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 there we go. Whew, okay. Been a little late getting back to responses on the channel. Uh, just, I don't know what it is. I, just, I lost track of time. Work had me so spun, and, you know, as soon as I get off work, I'm like, I don't know. I, I always say I'm mentally spent, to be quite honest with you. Mentally spent is probably the best word to say. And I had just totally forgot about um, getting back with some of the people in the in the comments. So I do apologize, but uh, I do try to keep on top of those as much as possible. 
Anyway, Skank and Gutter Boy here for this for the Wraith. Uh, what a character! I they okay. I don't know if you guys remember. I, some of your some of the older guys may uh, know who I'm talking about, but uh, Lenny and Squiggy from Laverne and Shirley. That's who they actually remind me of. Um, Skank and Gutter Boy. Yeah, and a couple of strange names too. Uh, I guess. You know, skank back when you know when I was when I was growing up, skank meant yeah, you know, like a, a, a nasty, uh, a slutty female, right? Or someone, you know, th it's that type of girl that would steal another girl's boyfriend, you know. So yeah, that's what that meant to me back, you know, back growing up. And then watching this movie, this guy's called Skank, and I'm like, uh, yeah, he's he's pretty nasty because this guy he does everything from I don't know drinking brake fluid sniffing uh, I, I don't know he just does all kinds of craziness in, in this movie um, alright let's see here uh, I didn't I should have did this a long time ago now did I not put a custom yeah, I did I must have bought two. No, I did not. I haven't put in there yet. Good thing I didn't sell it. Oof. All right. Uh, so for these wheels, for these wheels, it's not going to be anything special. I'm actually going to leave them the way they are. Because if you look, watch the movie, he's got some... I think these are pretty close to the... Uh, pretty close to the ones that he had on the vehicle itself. Uh, at least partially. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep them the way they are, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, put some new tires on it, and I think, let's see, what am I going to, what tires do I want to put on this? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I need to find out what the size is, because I'm going to have to individually put the same size on, 235, 65, 16. So, uh, here we go. Was it 235, 45, 16? I think it was, right? Was it a 45? Wow, hang on. 65. What a doofus. I knew it. I just knew it. In the back of my head, I'm like, I think it's the 65, and my mouth saying, no, it's a 45. All right, 2, 16, 2, 35, 65. All right, so we're going to put fresh meat on this bad boy with old rims. This is going to be the one time I'm not having to worry about, uh, you know, what rims to put on it or uh, you know, what kind of tires should I put on it what size any of that nope we are going completely stock with this and messed up rims so needless to say when this thing gets ready to be sold it's not gonna it's not gonna pull much because these rims are just awful <laughs> just simply awful but we're gonna take care of the rest of the car so everything else will be pretty much brand new okay so yeah gutter boy shot a hole in the floorboard right here um, yeah I guess there might be a brake line that would have ran through there yeah brake line probably went through there I'm looking at this I'm what in the world is going on underneath here so you might as well take a few parts off while I'm standing over here waiting for the tire to get balanced. Yeah, we are going to... There we go. Get that off there. Yep. Nice and rusty up old rims. Yeah, that looks, uh, that looks pretty cool. Alright. We'll get this one taken care of. Oh, come on. What is going on? 
Ow. I don't know if... It must just be me. I must just be tired tonight. Holy cow. Yeah, but I was saying how Skank is just this uh, strange individual. I mean, he drinks, oh, I don't know, hydraulic fluid, uh, gas, and every time he drinks something, he's like, he, he kind of sniffs and, and coughs and kind of chokes around a little bit, and he's like, ah, <laughs> it's got some kick. So, yeah, I'm looking at this. I may have to do some changing on this, Nick. I have to change, do some changing on here because I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to put a different front end on this, something that connects up a little bit better. So I did not see that. I think I did do some editing on it just to lower it just a touch. Um, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not quite sure. I would have thought that if I'd seen that, I would have taken care of it. But maybe I missed it. Anyway, so how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is happy and healthy. This is, uh, geez, what, mid-January when this, when this video drops, it'll be mid-January, but it's already, 2021 is already starting to look up. It's gotta be better than 2020. That's all I have to say. Let's see here. That off there. Oh, I gotta get that off there. So you know, I was wondering when I was looking through some of my some of these videos, and you, you like, tend to look at a little bit of the stats, and I was wondering what is your favorite movie car video. There's a ton of them. I can't, I don't even, I'd have to count them. I, there's a ton of videos. I think I have close to 400 videos posted on, um, over on Steam. So I've got, jeez, at least, almost close to 400. 400 videos at least. Let's clear this out. There we go. So yeah, I was just curious, what is your favorite? one whether it's car or commentary either way doesn't matter I know I can get a little boring in here sometimes so hey it's all good sometimes when I'm doing this I get so focused on what I'm doing I, I forget that I'm doing a video and I go dead silent sometimes so if I do that you may want to just kick me if you can that is I can you kick me through the video? I don't know. Maybe. I guess if this was virtual car mechanic simulator, you could. <laughs> uh, caliper. Get a couple of these vented bad boys. A couple of those. All right. Uh, bottom suspension arm. Yeah, I don't get those many. That many sometimes, but. Uh, Couple of those, couple of those. Uh, front sway bar B. Yep, inner. Uh oh. Let's get another one just in case. I don't think I hit my two my uh, more button, my arrow button for more to raise the quantity up like that. Yeah, I think I missed it. So that's okay. B links. Ooh, we need a steering rack. Steering rack bushings. For suspension arm. And just your typical wheel bearings and caps. Uh okay. In here, we need to take a look at uh 21565. 215.65. If I hit the right button, that would be great. So, 
All right, now we've got some pieces to work with here. We'll go ahead and get these shocks going. And we have to dismount and remount some new tires. There we go. Yep, you'll have a brand new set of tires on there. Yeah, you know, it's pretty sad that this CUDA in the movie gets gets destroyed by its owner's stupidity. Well, I guess I guess Skank was the owner. Gutter boys. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know if they're are they brothers or are they just friends. I don't remember. I don't remember if that's the case or not. Are they brothers? Are they just friends. Anyway, let's go ahead and dump all the parts out of here that I don't need. There we go, dump off that. And we should be golden. There we go. So, Alright, Nick, so this front end doesn't really line up right. So, right there's the, the steering rack, right? Um, And you'll see here in a minute. Uh, hang on, right back here. See where the this that is the steering rod. Yeah, that should be connected up here, but it's not. So okay, so I totally missed that. Totally missed that in the editor. Otherwise, I would have fixed that before jumping on camera. But that's okay. Nick may have fixed it, and I may have missed the update too, so. And it's easy for me to miss the updates. Um, I'm one, if you don't know already, I'm one who actually takes the mods and actually downloads. I, I download these to my to my own personal laptop. I run a laptop. And, um, and that's only because we've had modders leave and they've stripped the a workshop of all their works which you know I guess if you get mad and you walk away from a project I guess you have every right to take your stuff but uh, all you're doing is you're killing the community when that happens but I mean I can see it either way all right side A is done now I'll take care of side B and we'll strip into this engine there's gonna be another this is a Hemi engine I believe leave in here. I'd have to uh, block overhead valve C. Yeah, I think it uh, maybe it may not be a Hemi engine. Overhead block C. I mean, it looks like it. But uh, find out here in a minute. As soon as I get this done, we'll do a quick check on that to see what's going on. So, how many of you, actually, how many of you, since doing these, since I've been doing these movie videos, uh, movie car videos, have um, seen a video and went, man, I gotta see that movie again, and tracked it down and had to watch it? How many of you done that? I can tell you that uh, Brick Mansions was one of them that I was, uh, I saw it, I had to, I, and I immediately when I started watching it remembered I had seen it once before but as soon as I started watching it again uh, I remembered the cars the uh, um, the Chrysler that was in it and there's a Mustang that's in it too that I have to find still gotta find that Mustang um, yeah spoiler alert there's gonna be a Mustang for Brick Mansions as soon as I find it uh, <laughs> um, uh, so and I've also I also got forced because people would give me suggestions right so you guys are great as an audience you guys are great you're always giving me suggestions and if I didn't know what something was I'd find it on YouTube or something and uh, just to get a preview of whatever 
whatever the movie is, so I knew what was going on. See what kind of car it is, so I can tell. You know, I knew what kind of car to look for and from the workshop, or if I didn't have it, to download it, right? Um, but the Wraith was one of them that I had seen in the past, but when uh, I think I think it's Jeffrey Scott. I had the the his uh, his uh, nicknames for Steam and for uh, the Discord channel elude me right now, but I believe it's Jeffrey Scott when he presented the idea of doing the Wraith and he was going to um, have it submitted on the workshop and he gave me the opportunity to you know, do it um, to do it up in my workshop first man I was I was so honored to do that and um, it 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 tweet it, it pinked it piqued my interest to go check out the movie and I was able to find it and and and, and watch it and I was like and even though I've watched it here recently man I am just like I'm being a big dodo brain man I can't remember um, can't remember his names I mean Minty Minty was his name right um, uh, we got one tail light out of that what a bummer oh didn't have a door for that don't have a fender for that okay maybe I should have just gotten all new parts so I knew what I had okay grill yeah bumper yeah fender and door Inside mirror. Okay. Um, let us let us dive into the world of body parts. Ah, uh, don't know if he spelled it Cuda. Probably not Cuda. Yes. No. Yes. All right. Front bumper. I've got whole front end I do not uh, the door I have the window I need fender I've got I need that door as well glass yeah, for the fender. Uh, headlights yes that hmm not sure if I need that or not but I'm gonna grab it anyway uh, I need all those and that's fixed okay all right, so the front end. There we go. Headlights. I haven't seen Nick around too much. I know he's he's still kicking around out there, um, but I haven't seen him around too much. I hope I hope things are doing well for you, Nick. If you're watching the video right now, uh, let's see that. Okay, so there is something. What is it? Okay, let's do a body check. Do a quick frame interior global bodies 90%. Is that because of the license plate? Seat Atlanta. Seat Atlanta. Huh, it looks like I got everything. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump in here and we will jump to here. To Seat Atlanta. Uh, seats Atlanta. We need two of those. Thank you very much. And I want to say something like that because it's a strange looking steering wheel. Oh, no. I'm looking at it. Okay, we're going back. We are going to get something a little a little, a little, low, a little more low key. Uh, that one, right? It's a Dodge. Yeah, we'll get the Dodge Charger steering wheel. Makes sense, right? Of course it does. Oh, 
Okay, come on. Okay, I gotta go around the other side. Sometimes these things can be a little, uh, a little finicky. Ah, uh, that's not the one I wanted. Yeah. Okay, so that's done. Uh, let's see. We'll get uh, we'll get some throw some license plates on here. California plates. Skank. <laughs> Skank. Jeez, what a name! What a name! Yeah, he reminds me. They remind me of Lenny and Squeaky from Laverne and Shirley. Uh, what? Who do they remind you of? These two characters. Who do they remind you of? I. I let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. Um, let me dump this. Dump that, dump that, dump that, dump that. Uh, rear left fender. I don't even know where that one is. I'm going to put a better rear left fender. And I guess I'm 100%, so it doesn't really matter, right? Global body's 100%. Left rear fender. For a fender. Hmm. Alright, whatever whatever it was. Rear window. Right tail light, right that tail light, rear bumper, left rear. What the heck? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a hundred percent, so I don't remember taking anything else off it. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's 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 fine with me. I'll figure it out later. I'm not that big of a deal. Battery brakes and radiator. I don't know if that radiator is going to make it. To be quite honest, it looks horrible. You now, after running around in the desert of the airplane graveyard that they worked in. Oh, look at that. I didn't spend hardly any money on that. That's good. Good job. All right. Let's yank the motor out of this bad boy. You know, when I was talking about how the liveries, you know, kind of a little messed up underneath here and I mean there's nothing you can do about it um, same applies here look it's underneath the hood but hey you don't see it it's cool again Ryan Peterson big shout out I mean come on that is that's pretty dang good for gutter boys CUDA I mean come on um, oh yeah what kind of a motor is in here anyway V8 overhead valve magnum. So it's just a magnum. Okay. Um, I think I can do that. We're just going to build a brand new one for this bad boy. Uh, overhead valve. And again, it's going to be one of those things that phew, I don't. I'm not so good at building. Eh, why? Because I don't build them that often. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, might as well get rid of the motor too, because I'm not going to need that. Okay, let's go shopping. <clears throat> okay, we already know that it is. Going to need those. That. Um, cam gear. I want to say that one, but I'm not really sure. A couple of clips. Where's the overhead valve? Let's see that one right there. Three of few. 
one of you. Now I believe, let's see, I think these are, I think these are D heads and they don't have, they do not have a performance replacement, if I'm not mistaken, which saddens me to no end. Running through some engine parts here. I'm just kind of scanning through as I'm scrolling through. Um, these wires, I don't think we have, I think, well, we, I think we might, so I'm not going to pick up any. Intake, definitely the intake is going to be needed, um, de-intake, because we don't have that in the performance either. V8, oil pan. Let's get, uh, I believe this one is your typical piston rings. Man, I hope so. Uh, radiator fan B, rocker. Ooh, wait a minute, the rocker arm's on this. Is these rocker arms? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to wait on that one because I am not sure. nor am I sure about the belts. So we'll skip over those, come back to that. I know the timing chain is an F. That's good. It's orange, it gets bought. How's that? Uh, push rods, I don't know. At least it pops, okay. Uh, power boost shop. Uh, of course, everyone needs a fill filter. Oh, this is engine. Um, I don't think I think it's the i six B alternator for this stupid thing. Camshaft, overhead valve C, carburetor, single carburetor. Uh, we already talked about heads. Uh, for this particular application, two of those. I already got the fill filter. Uh, ignition coil, distributor, distributor cap, rotor. Do we have the other set of wires? Another bummer. Yeah, see, I don't even have the D intake. That's such a bummer. Uh, pistons, we'll go ahead and get those. Uh, as far as power steering pump, it's that. F for some reason. And I think that's going to get us pretty close to where we want to be. Can't guarantee it's, it's not all the parts by no means. I mean, I could. I'm seriously sitting here thinking to myself, you know what? I even forgot the gear, the uh, clutch and pressure plate. Jeez, what is my deal today? All right. See, look at that, just like, just like a dream. And I have built like this the engine before, and I have said, you know, putting this timing chain cover on is kind of realistic. Doing it before the oil pan because you've got that seal down underneath here that uh, needs to seal up with the oil pan. It's kind of hard to change one of these out and not drop the oil pan. Yep, the I six. So I do know some of the pieces on here. Okay, so that's just a serpentine belt B off for the C, okay. Gotcha. Uh, 
belt. Okay. So that's all done. Let's jump back over into the tablet. Let's get uh, clutch, pressure plate, flywheel. Get the throughout bearing over here. Awesome. And we'll jump down underneath this bad boy and put some pistons in it. Now, hopefully Skink and Gutter Boy can keep their grubby little paws to themselves and keep this thing on the road. And not shoot a hole in the bottom of it. Jeez. One of the scenes with that uh, with that shotgun I did notice in, I think it was the wiki or uh, IMD BD or whatever the movie movie website, they were talking about uh, mistakes in the movie, right? Um, at one point they were out, they were getting ready to do a race out on the, the, the mountain road and um, the interceptor, the wraith was coming up and, oh I forgot the caps, holy crap, um, the interceptor was coming up. And Skank sees that um, I had to forget what the guy's name is. <sighs> the guy that killed off Jamie. Anyway, um, he has this double barrel shot off, sawed off shotgun, and he goes to fire it, and Skank grabs it, you know, and shoves it up in the air. It's like, man, you can't do that. Well, if you watch, the double barrel shotgun gets laid right on his chest. As if this guy's gonna shoot his head, right? Which, honestly, if it was actually shot, that barrel would be hot. So, yeah, it's one of those goofs in the movie where he laid it on his chest and pointed it towards his head like he was gonna kill him, but. Yeah, that, that's kind of far fetched because it would have burned his skin. Burned his skin hard. I uh, need eight of those. I think when it comes to the rocker arms, I think these, yep, these, I think we could grab those two while I'm there. Might as well, right? Right. Okay. Back into the business here. So yeah, of all the movies, that, uh, of all these videos that you've seen, is there anything that sparked, sparked watching another movie? Or, you know, Time to dig him out of the DVD cabinet and watch him, or look him up and stream him on your favorite streaming company, whatever that may be. Right now, I've been watching a lot of stuff on uh, uh, Netflix and Hulu. So, and speaking of. Uh, Netflix. Yeah. Got a series I'm gonna as soon as soon as I can find the car, I am going to be reaching out to um I may be reaching out to Ryan or I may just do it myself, a uh to get a livery for a car that I have in mind. Um I have to find it first, but um shouldn't be too awful hard. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. Yep. You know, I think these are F. I think these are F valve rods. Um, there they are right there, spark plugs. So tiny. I guess if I zoomed in a little bit better, you could see them. Okay, so it's, yep, it is, oh, head D, yep, the F rods. So let's remember that. Get these in there. Um, 
Okay. Oh, that's not the carburetor. I need, I need the F carburetor. F carburetor and C belt. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Overhead valve. Overhead valve. C. Overhead valve. C. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's going into the B's. So we gotta go back up here. Overhead valve C. Okay. Got that one. Got that one. Are the rods down here? Or do I have to go back up? I don't remember. Nope, right here. Okay, 16 of these bad boys. Oops. Uh. Needs the air cleaner cover, and I never, I always forget which one this is for. I think it's F. Yep. The F and D. Holy cow! Is that what that is? I bet it is. Super strange. I don't know why I didn't I didn't think about that earlier. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, let's go back over to the performance shop. Um, what was I going to need over there? I was going to need... I would think I would need an air filter, but I don't think they... I don't think it's provided here. I don't think we have it over here. For the F carburetor, though. There we go. We got the F carburetor. All right. Uh, there was something else I was thinking. Oh, the wires aren't. I don't know what the wires are yet. All right. The belt's on. Fan on. Okay. Carburetor on. Yeah, F base. Okay, what is that? The F air filter, which I do not have. Which is completely stock, of course. Jeez. Did I miss one? Yeah, I did. Holy cow, I did miss that, didn't I? the other side we'll figure out what kind of wires we need for this I'm almost thinking it's just a V8 wires but I thought I had a different set of wires over this I could be wrong It's different. Yeah, it's those are D's. D's an F filter. I knew it. 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 Nope. It's not there. Uh, wires for the D. <clears throat> right there. Filter. Yeah. See, none of these, that's unfortunate that none of these parts are in the uh, performance shop. But, I will say this. Probably a good thing because Skank and Gutter Boy couldn't handle this car. Anyway, with all the performance parts that I just played into this thing. Yes. Alright. 
take you off. Let's lay you back into the car. Yes. Put you away. Oil, please. Thank you. All right, time to get busy underneath here. All right, so we'll jump into the jump into the tablet real quick. So I know certain things we are going to need. So. Luckily, this does have, we'll go ahead and get two of the middle mufflers, two of the rear mufflers, but it does have the exhaust extension right here, the D's. Um, oh, damn, what? Uses the F. All right. I think I sold the drive shaft, so I've got that. I think I've got a starter. I think I've got enough pieces to finish this up underneath here. Oh, I don't, but that's cool. What do I need there? C's. All right. Transmissions in. Oh wait a minute. Did I put the wrong transmission in? Oh man, did I put the wrong transmission? Uh, no, it looks like the right one, that's cool. Yeah, the drive shaft is really off on this too. Man, I need to do some work on this car. Drive shaft's a little off. Okay, and I need a set of C's, and those I'm going to have to get from the normal shop here. Okay. Man, this, this bad boy is done. It is ready for the paint. You should be 100% across the... Oh, oh, I'm missing. Oh, okay. That's because of the rims. Okay, so the rest of it should be uh, front exhaust section D. I forgot the other side. Oh, got it. There we go, that side. All right, now we are good. All right, to the paint shop you go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so we're going to set factory. Um, actually, it should be. Let's see. Let's get this uh, purpley color. Then we'll take the saturation right out of it and tone it down a little bit. Take some more saturation out. There we go. Give it like a dark purple effect, right? And then for the livery, there we go. <laughs> oh man, yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. Alright, let's uh, roll this bad boy over to the the dyno. Let's see what let's see how much more horsepower we gave Skank. Hit me. Okay, 597 horsepower with 753 pounds of torque. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So, there we have it. Let's get
Yank and Gutter Boys Cuda. Okay. Well, I hope you. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> I hope you uh, liked today's episode. Hey, if you uh, enjoyed it, please, by all means, hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, give it a big thumbs up for a like. I'd love to hear you have a comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right, so look at that. We've got uh, with this and with the the uh, interceptor in the parking level. I think we've got a pretty good collection of wraith cars. So that is awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you hanging out with me. And again, uh, hit that subscribe button. Love to see you. Make a comment down below too. Love to hear from you. All right. Till next time. Source Quasar saying good night. And uh, yeah, I'm out.